Spencer noticed that uh, these depressions here where the bear's been standing and uh, rubbing his back on the uh, wall of the cabin just to scratch his back. He got a, a, a spot that sticks out there and he scratched himself. But look how it sunk in the ground where, where we're standing. He buried his heels right in and yeah. backed up against the building here. Now I see the hair yeah. on, the, on the corner of the building here. So yeah, he... They like to scratch. They tore the uh, door off of one of your outhouse doors up there. Don's <laughs> up there working on that now. Gonna fix up that part of the outhouse. Might probably won't have a door, but y'all don't need a door. <laughs> That's cool. That's that is awesome. some big footprints. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, it's a little baby bear. Must be a cub. See it? See it was? It's a cub footprint. Little cub, see the toes? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to give you just a quick overview of the camp. I mean, you're going to see it again in the other videos, but just here in the introduction, you, you might, you may, you may not want to watch the rest of them, but I hope you do. That's the camp itself right there. They're working on one of the six wheelers. They have a bunch of six wheelers and ATVs and stuff. That's something, if you come up here and you want to go around, you'll have to get one of those. That's the Casa de Paga River, House of Pay River, Spanish for House of Pay, and it's loaded with grayling. So if you're fishermen, you can come up here and catch grayling uh, all day long. I, I, I don't know if the salmon, I guess the salmon probably get up this far too, but I'm not positive. We're too early for the salmon though. Uh, let me just give you a quick view of the camp. We'll call it a video. What do you say? There's Steve and Spencer and them working on that. They had a little problem with a fuel pump, but they're getting it. Sorry for the generator noise. The generator stays up here, so you have electricity on demand. This is the inside of the main cabin. Uh, this is where Steve sleeps in here and some of the guys sleep in here. You got a little table. Uh, you got all kinds of supplies. They, all the stuff stays up here, most of it. All the medical supplies and first aid kit. Got multiple heaters. This is a great ice chest too. This will hold a bag of ice for a week. It's a very heavy duty, expensive uh, chest. It's a wood stove there that you can use again, ready to replace that pipe. It's, it's a little rustic kitchen. You have a stove, probably could use a cleaning, and it runs off of propane. Pots and pans stay here, so you don't have to worry about bringing any of that stuff up. There's a lot of food up here, too, that some of it's been here for quite a while, so uh, don't depend on having food here, and you need to really bring your own anyway. <laughs> Stock up on food, it's a long way to the store. All right, let's go outside. These are little cabins here that you can stay in. This is where Bruce is staying. Now I've already unloaded mine and I uh, get everything packed up, but this is where he stayed. There's a tool room that you'll have access to if you stay here. I'll show you where I stay just since we're here already. I hope I didn't leave it a mess. Nah, I didn't leave it a mess. You can see there's lots of caribou antlers around. The sleeping pads and stuff were, were here already, so I just used those. And it was very comfortable. I slept really, really well, although the sun never goes down here at this time of year. There's some more antlers there. Show you the uh, other storage areas too. I think you're, yeah, there's another cabin around the side. I think this is the dredge room. No, this is the high banker room. And they have a dredge room. They got uh, three or four high bankers you can use. And if you want a room with a view, this is the room you want right here. I didn't stay in it because I didn't find it in time. But you can see it. But you can see it has a mattress already in there, and uh, there's a flashlight and a few things other people have left. A lot of times when people come up here and they have stuff left over, they just leave it, um, which is nice because you know the next people, the next group of people can use it. And also, it's real expensive to carry it home. 
because uh, if you go overweight on your bags, I mean, it's just crazy. Airlines are nuts nowadays. Not like when I was a kid. I want to show you this real quick, too. You're going to see this stuff in a video later, a bunch of, well, many videos later on, but I just want to show you this neat, nifty piece of equipment. This is one of the high bankers that they keep up here. And, of course, all the equipment you can use. This was a, a ditch that I dug out and found a lot of gold in. You're going to hopefully see some good videos of that. And this is what they call a, I don't know, it's a... Uh, it's a dredge that you can use on the land. I guess you call it a land dredge. It's kind of neat. You'll, you'll see that in operation a little bit later in the video. And it runs off of that water pump right there. And there's just some tools that we keep down here. Here's another trench that uh, this guy up here uh, named Bruce, who I just met when I came up here. And he's actually staying up here all summer, uh, most of the time by himself. And uh, boy, I wish I could do that. But he was digging this trench last night and he's finding really good gold in it. So I'm happy for him there. And there's another high banker that we're using. Uh, it just pumps the water up from the river in that hose, and you find gold. I dug this pit, and I'm gonna to talk to you about this pit in one of my videos. And we're excavating down there, finding some gold. And this is one of the dredges you can use too if you come up here. I think it's a five inch dredge. But yeah, you can use all this stuff. It's so cool. You can run it 24 hours a day if you want to. That's a hole I was working on. I never got down to the pay layer. I only worked on that hole one day. I was just too busy doing other things that you'll see in the video. Uh, that's the outhouse right there. It's rustic too. <laughs> oh, and the drinking water here. Well, we're walking in it. We can get the water. Basically, you just get the water out of the river and you boil it. They have a gas stove up there, a propane stove, and a microwave and all that kind of stuff. If you're feeling energetic and you're here early enough, you can go to one of those snow banks over there and you get drinking water there, but I would boil that anyway, so you might as well just get it from the river. But that's your ice for your ice chest right there. And the Phillipses have a giant, very expensive uh, ice chest up here that they leave. So if you got a bucket, what we do is we get a five gallon bucket of snow we put it in there and it lasted almost all week. Kept things cool. So that's how you can do it. If there's snow here, if there's no snow, well, you have to bring in some ice. But I think a bag of ice lasts a week, is what they were telling me. Let's walk up to the camp. It's, the uh, it's, 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 it's showing uh, that's one claim, and this is another claim. We got five, and uh, two of them are here, and, and then uh, two over Ridgeway and one at Ruby. And then there's a lot of land that doesn't have any claims on it. And that's called closed, which means it's open to anybody for prospect. Uh, you can go on any land that's closed, because that means it's open. <laughs> if you, got, you get that? I got that. <laughs> that's sort of I like, understand. That, I really that's do. That's the government regulation. <laughs> yeah, I used to work for the government. Closed, I understand. Closed means open. <laughs> For prospect. Right, so you're that catch 22. Yeah, right. catch, yeah. Uh, yeah, at least yeah, 22. Yeah. That's what we're going to use for dredging? Mm hmm. It is. Okay. You got your air compressor right here that's going to oh, okay. supply air to the diver. Uh, your pump right here that's going to power everything. And this is a Honda 9 horse yeah. for our 5 inch dredge. And we're about to take our muffler off and we're going to replace it with a heater. The heater is what's propping that door open over there. That makes it where the diver can get in you know, water that's 30 something degrees to 40 something degrees and quite often be the most comfortable guy out there working once he's underwater. He doesn't have to deal with mosquitoes or anything like yeah. that. I was already messing around down in the river a little bit and it's so cold. I mean, you put your hands in there for like a minute and they're frozen solid, it kind of hurt. So I hope that heater will work. Oh yeah. So that won't be going in the water if that heater doesn't work. No, no, you, you won't be going in the water. Not long. for long, that's not right, for long. not for long. Not for long at all, that's right. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing in the tool room, but he's eating something.
She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got.